Hey, today I'm going to take you with me through a quick tutorial of Folder Sync for Android. This tool enables you to automatically sync certain folders on your Android phone to either local or cloud-connected storage. And uh, for me, it basically fulfills the purpose of a backup tool which backs up certain folders on my phone to my local server here in my home so that my photos and others, uh, well, generated content during the day gets backed up automatically during the night and I never have to worry about losing them. I don't use a cloud provider myself because I often generate quite a lot of data, especially with pictures and movies, especially in 4K nowadays. So I back them up to my local uh, NAS. And this tutorial will be a quick show and tell on how to do that. And well, hopefully you'll benefit from it. Let's get started. To start off, open the Google Play Store and search for the program called Folder Sync. There we go. I have the paid version, but let's uh, install the light version for now. It needs some permissions from you, but those are very basic and shouldn't do any harm. Okay, that installed very quickly. Let's go ahead and open it. It will show you a quick welcome screen to accept their rules and conditions. And let's skip through them pretty quickly. And that'll take us to the main screen. Here, you could, you could click on Create New Sync down in the bottom. But I'm going to back out of it because I want to set up everything manually so I can show you guys what it means. So let's go to Accounts. And hit the green plus button to create a new account. Here you can see all the different uh, types of storage it can connect to natively. And there's all kinds of stuff, stuff in there from OneDrive to OwnCloud, SFTP, and even stuff I didn't know existed. Today we're going to use SMB slash SIFS, which is the protocol for normal Windows file share. We're going to be connecting to my NAS, which is called QuinNAS, and I'm putting in the internal IP on my network. Then put in your username and password. And last up is the authentication domain. Most of the time with a Windows PC, this will be the name of the PC itself. After doing a quick test, save the settings. Okay, now we have an account set up. And next up, we can go to folder pairs. Hit the green plus button again and give it a name. This folder pair will be for my photos and most of the time I use several, so like photos, WhatsApp and other folders I want. Then I select the account. I select to remote folder. This is important because I only wish to transfer files from my phone to my NAS and not the other way around. So first we select the remote folder. In my case, it will be a certain share and then a directory. And then we select the local folder, which is going to be dsim. Hit the green pl plus to acknowledge. Then we're going to use a scheduled sync. And you can choose several predefined values, but we're going to choose daily. Of course, then it could run, run it every time, but we're going to include another condition that has to be valid so that it will only run when charging at night. So leave everything default and make sure use Wi-Fi is turned on. And here we tick on only sync if charging. 
So that means your phone needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi and it needs to be charging before it will automatically start the sync. For me, this would be every night when I go to bed. Okay, let's uh, click the sync button. And we can go to the sync status to see what's going on. There's a big cancel button, but we don't need that. And as you can see, it's syncing the files to my server. And once the sync is done, we can check the sync history. Again, this is purely a one-way sync. So this syncs files from your phone to the server. And if you delete the photos from your phone, they will still stay on the server. So it's really a type of backup, not a sync. And you can see 137 megabytes at four megabytes a second. And you can check which files it uploaded. Okay, well, this is working perfectly. And using this method, you could create several folder pairs to sync the folders you wish. You can also always do a manual sync by hitting the sync button. And well, it finishes very quickly. You can check the status and you can see it checked the files, but nothing changed. So it's done instantly. Otherwise it will just upload the changed files and sync up everything. And well, that's basically it. Now you know how to use folder sync to automatically back up your phone every day to your storage of choosing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next video.